Hi everyone, welcome to Lead Code Daily Challenge. So the problem for today is to find the kth factor of a given number n. So we will be given two positive integers n and k. We need to find the kth factor of the given number n. So the given integer n. So as you know the factor is uh, how do we define a factor? So if the number uh, the given number divides the uh, integer n, then the number is a factor of the integer n. So if uh, if you take an integer i and if it if the remainder of the n percent i is zero, that means i is div dividing n with the remainder of zero. That means i is a factor of number n. So we need to consider all the factors of n sorted in ascending order and then return the kth factor in this list. And if there is no kth factor, that means if they if they want a factor which is beyond uh, k, uh, uh, which is beyond the number of factors of the number n. Then we need to return minus one. So let's say we have uh, m number of factors for the given integer n, and if k k is greater than m, that means we don't have a kth factor. Then we need to return minus one. So let's look at the examples. So the given number n is twelve, and we need to find the third factor for the for twelve. So the factor list is one, two, three, four, six, twelve, because all these numbers uh, uh, will divide twelve with a remainder of zero. So the third factor here is three. And we need to remember that we need to include the number also in the factor list because one as well as the number itself in the factor list. And in the second example, we have n equal to seven and k equal to two. So the factor list here is one comma seven because n is a prime number, so we don't have anything other than one and the number itself. So the so the second factor is seven. And here uh, we have n equal to four and k equal to four. And the factor list for the integer four are one, two, four, and we don't have a fourth factor here, so we need to return minus one. And here we have n equal to one and k equal to one, and it is straightforward. Uh, so the first factor is one itself. And in example five we have thousand and three, so the four, uh, the third factor is four in the list. So it should be pretty straightforward. And let's see the constraints. So the k and n can go uh, from one till thousand. So it should be okay. The constraints are not too hard. So even O of n square approach should be fine. But anyway the problem is straightforward. So let's see. Let's look at the hints provided here. So the factors of a number n will always be in the range one to n. So that is pretty straightforward. And from the hint two, uh, keep a list of all factors sorted, loop i from one to n. That means we go from one to n and then check if the number is dividing n with remainder of zero. Then we add it to the our factor list, and we make sure that they are in the sorted order. So I don't think we need any further explanation. So let's uh, take a look at the source code. So first, take a vector of integers so that we store all the factors. Then, as shown in the hint, as provided in the hint, we go from one to n. Uh, we can go till n because we know that beyond n by two, the number will not divide the given integer. So let's say we have n ten, n equal to ten. So we know that beyond five, n by two, n by two is ten by two is five. So beyond five, we don't have to check because six, seven, eight, nine, they don't divide ten. The only thing is, we just make sure that we add n to the factor at the end. So we go uh, for loop from i equal to one to n by two. Then, if the number is uh, dividing the given integer, that means remain remainder is zero, then we store our uh, number in the factor list. And finally, we need to push the number itself because n also uh, divides n. And from this factor list, we need to make sure that uh, the size is greater than or equal to k because if it is less than k. Then we need to return minus one. So if it is uh, size is more than k, then we return factor of k minus one because k minus one is the index of the kth factor because the index starts from zero to zero. So let's uh, execute and see. Yeah, so it works fine. Let's submit and check. So the solution has been accepted. Yeah, so runtime of zero milliseconds. So because this is straightforward solution and it is a wow and solution, we are not doing anything uh, extra here. Let's look at the Java solution. It should be pretty straightforward because there aren't much uh, library functions. Yeah. 
Yes, so instead of vector, we take array list because in Java we have array list to store dynamic number of integers. Then again we go from uh, 1 to n by 2. Then if the number if the given integer i divides n, then we add it to our factors. So factor dot add. Then finally we add uh, n itself to the factor list. Then we just check if the size is uh, within the limit of if size is more than k, then we get we can use the function factor dot get to get the integer at the k minus 1 index because index starts from 0 otherwise we return minus 1 so i think we can uh, directly submit is pretty uh, same as c plus plus except that array list then let's see the details here so even in java it is pretty uh, fast 1 milliseconds because uh, that time complexity here is o of n because we don't do anything uh, more than n in fact we do uh, we process the integers from 1 to n by 2 not even n but still the time complexity will be when n grows so large the time complexity will be in the order of n and when, when it comes to space complexity it will be uh, it will not be it will be in the order of n in fact it is less than n because the number of factors will not be more than n any time yeah so that's it thanks for watching thank you